Okay, in today's video, I wanted to show an example on how we could utilize Power Automate to automate uploading or syncing files to OneDrive website. I will show the basis on how to accomplish this and you can expound upon this for your particular needs. Follow along and let's begin. So we have a blank canvas here. The first thing we want to do is launch the OneDrive website and log in. You will need to install plugins for the particular browser you will be using. I will use Edge as the plugin is already installed there. So we want to launch a new Edge browser and go to the sign in page. If you expand browser automation, you will see a few different options to launch different browser types. So we will select the launch new Microsoft Edge. Let's copy and paste in the sign in page into the initial URL field and make sure you wait for the page to load is turned on. Otherwise, you'll run into some issues. Okay, next we need to enter some text into the page. We will you use the uh, populate text field on the web page action. Use browser instance and we will add a new UI element. Once you click, make sure you have the web page you are working on open as it will all tab to the next window you have open. Next, the section on the web page we want to send the text to, put your mouse over it and a red box will appear over the field. Once a target field is highlighted, hold down the control button and press the left mouse button to select it. It will be added as a UI element. And in the text section, specify what we want to enter in this field. This would be the target email address and then select save. So this will enter the email address into that field. Next, we want to click the next button. So we use the press button on web page action and add a new UI element. So hover over the next button once we add a new UI element and hold down control button and left click it. Okay. All that looks good and hit save. So we enter the username and then click the next button. If you need to enter the password as well, you would repeat these same steps for it as well. Now let's add this in to close the browser once we're done. If we run this, let's see what happens. So it launches, enters our username and clicks the next button. Great, okay. Okay, so what we have now is a browser launch to our OneDrive login page. We enter our username, hit next, and then close our browser. Okay, so this is our target directory containing all the files we are looking to upload to OneDrive. We will just target PDF files, so this text file should be ignored. 
So let's get these files using the get files in folder action. Specify our folder path as well as the filter to target PDF files. Let's do a sort by name so that we will pull them in some sort of predictable way. Okay, let's save that. Now these files are going to be stored in our files variable. Okay, great. Now we want to use these files in our automation folder here. Let's make sure the folder exists prior to doing anything. So if we use the if web page contains action and we check for UI element for our automation folder, we add a new element and specify our automation folder. Okay. So only if our automation folder exists, then we continue. This is where we can do a, cre a creation of the folder if it doesn't exist. Okay, so now we want to click on that automation folder. So use the press button action and we already have the UI element added. So select that same elephant element and save. Now, once we click on that folder, there's a button that you press to upload files. Well, two buttons it seems. The arrow next to the upload files and then the files. This then launches our prompt to specify files to upload. So let's add those elements. Let's do another press button and we can add a new element and then specify the arrow button. Save that. Okay, then let's add another one to click on files. Add a new UI element and specify the files button. Save that. Okay, let's run a test, but first let's disable the close browser so that our browser stays open. Let's run.
Okay, it looks completed, but we didn't get our prompt to upload files. We can see there is an error message about the element not being found. I've seen this before and the issue is how the web page is displaying text because our files menu is a sub menu and the tag changes. So what we can do is use keyboard strokes to get our target menu. When we click that arrow, the files button is auto selected. So we just need to press enter. So under send keys, we will send the special key to press enter. And this is how you simulate the enter key. Let's test now and see what happens. Okay, success. We now have the prompt to specify our files to upload. Okay, so now we are up to the point where our file prompt is launched. So we can just loop through the files and specify each file name and click OK, or rather press Enter. But if we were to select more than one, you can see there are quotation marks surrounding the name and each one is separated by a space. So I wonder if we add these file names the same way if we can simulate a multi-file selection. Let's give it a try. We have our list of files stored in our files variable. So let's loop over each. Specify our files list in our values to iterate. Okay. Now, as we loop over each file, let's send the file name key as an input. Specify the current item, just the name, and let's put that in quotes and add a space at the end. Let's also increase the the delay between strokes to 20 milliseconds. Save that. So in theory, that should work. Let's run it and see.
Great, that works, and added all of our file names between quotes and separated by a space. But let's add a wait of two seconds because it took a bit to open the dialog box to select the files. Okay, great. Okay, so let's mimic what the automation is doing. It's opening the upload dialog box, multi selecting the documents. And then we need to click the open button. But you can see by the blue box around the open button, it's auto selected. So really we just need to press enter. So let's add another send keys that will press enter for us. So let's run this and see what it does. Okay, great. It uploads, but you can see it takes some time for the upload to complete. So before closing the browser, let's add another wait for a few seconds. I'm just going to pick a random number of 12 and then we close our browser. You can also add a move files. This can move the files to a completed folder so they aren't reprocessed. If you want to fully automate this, or you can add some type of syncing mechanism. I won't show how to do this in this video though. So let's run this, but first let's delete the files as they are already uploaded. Okay, let's run this again with everything turned on. Let's go over what happens here. So our browser is launched and the website logged into. Our target folder of automation is clicked, then upload is clicked. Multiple files selected and passed from our target folder. Then we click enter and wait 12 seconds for the upload to complete. Then we close our browser. And that's it. 
This video was an example on how to use Power Automate to automate interacting with the website in a particular way, more so than uploading files to OneDrive. There are better ways to get this done, but I hope you found this video helpful. Also keep in mind that this can be applied to other websites, Google Drive or Dropbox or any custom ERP website. Thanks for watching. This has been brought to you by AIP Solutions.